Hey, what's up, guys? It's Andrew Cartwright here. Welcome to the show where we talk about stimulus checks, for stimulus checks, what's happening in Ukraine, what's happening with Russia, around the world, Washington, D.C., their response, international response, the U.N., and, of course, NATO, and now the IMF, which just, just a few hours ago came up with some more stuff about helping out Ukraine. Things are really interesting around the world right now. Many people are so focused on Ukraine. I have friends that have like a six-year-old daughter that's waking up to watch Ukraine in the morning about what's going on. It, it is something else. Nobody should pay this price um, for freedom. And today's what, you know, much of the countries are, I mean, there's a lot of free countries. We should be supporting them. But also, it seems like there's a lot behind this all the way around where there are a lot of sticky fingers going around. We cover the economy, stocks, money, and also I'm giving away $2,000. Let's talk about the money that is being put to the floor right now. The International Monetary Fund announced it could approve $1.4 billion emergency fund as it happened. Well, it's also we've contributed money. Um, NATO, lots of people are contributing money right now. Also, what's happening in the stock market? This is before close. This is 10 minutes before close. The stock market, S&P, down 2.96. Uh, Dow 30 is 2.35, uh, 38 percent down, and the Nasdaq down huge, 3.62, and the Russell 2000 is down 2.18. And what we don't want to see is oil at 119. I'd seen it even hit as much as 130. That means it's up 4 percent, folks, almost 4 percent, 3.64 percent. That's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. And also, uh, we've got what's happening. Basically, they're unplugging Russia from the world system. Apple stopped selling to Russia. Levi's, can't, they're going to stop selling to Russia. Uh, Ukraine, right now, the Russian war, they rejected a proposal. I mean, who would want their, their citizens to go to Russia, their enemy? And right now, our duty, quote, Ukrainian insurgents are operating on Russian soldiers wounded in Ukraine. They have a hypoc hypocritic oath, right? They don't care where you're from or what you're doing. People that are in the, um, that are doctors have been trained to save lives. Um, don't care what color you're wearing, basically. So that's, that's actually, I think, a civil sign of so much, so much, um, I don't know. I, I love to see like that. There's lots of opportunities right now out there as we cover um, that revive the economy and drives unemployment for even less educated Americans to um, record lows. That means a lot of people that are on low skilled jobs are able to actually get jobs. Also, um, the U.S. gained 678,000 jobs in February and unemployment dropped to 3.8 percent despite labor shortages. So we've got a lot there. Also, um, we have fact checkers on all this stuff. They, just like even the fact checker where they said if certain conditions were met, Russia would leave Ukraine. We fact checked that. That turned out to be false. You have to be so careful when you're looking at all this stuff to make sure that you're not reporting stuff that isn't true. It's been something that we've had to fight with all the last couple of years. Make sure we don't spin, you know, lean into the propaganda machine. Also, social media posts of an old video, the White House officials make false claims about a stimulus. we got to keep it pure, folks. And uh, definitely, this is unbelievable. A Modesto mom admits to teaming up with death row's son to rip off a stimulus. Now I think I have heard everything. Haven't you heard everything now? So it's important that we cover all this stuff with the PUA, the IRS, and also that if you got PUA money or... And they're also handing out more of it. I'm going to cover some of that. So find out this new IRS PUA news and whether it's legit or not. I'm going to cover that. How there are false rumors um, that are going around about fake stimulus checks. Obviously, to get your attention, we keep it pure here. And also, um, one mother that teamed up with her death row inmate son to steal money from the U.S. government. Like, it wouldn't be found out. Oh, my God. I don't know. What, what are these people thinking? You're not going to want to miss out on the story. It's wild. Also, you don't want to miss out on your chance to win $2,000. So make sure you put a comment in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm. 
and it also keeps a YouTuber alive. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, make sure you do that. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, smash that like button, throw a comment because we're gonna pick a random comment, launch out $2,000 when we hit 200,000 subscribers. So it is Monday, March 7th. We've got a turbulent, crazy world right now, both financially, economically, politically, and militarily. All things are being pulled in a lot of different directions right now with China, Russia, and the US. But we're gonna keep it real and make sure you kept up to date of what's going on with stimulus. So also, I wanna make a million millionaires, millionaires through education, direct loans to you, and direct investment into companies that you wanna buy or start. So first, education, this channel, and my second channel, which is in the link down in the description, where I break down some stuff for entrepreneurs and how to make money. Also, um, there's a link for loans up to $5 million in the description, 12 different programs, 75 banking partners I have. You can apply for free, takes about 15 minutes, fill out the application, there's no fee or obligation, and it won't impact your credit. So, if you're approved, it could take 24 hours to get your money. It's incredible, right? Also, stay tuned to this channel to cover finance, crypto, real estate, stock market, Ukraine, all things that are happening right now. So, and also check out my real estate program. It can transform your life for 99 bucks. I spent $40,000 in professional courses and $45 million in experience. 36 videos. First two videos are free. Check it out. Don't miss out on that $99 unbelievable program. And thanks to my patrons who support the channel for as little as $3. But first... There are a new viral, a brand new viral social media post saying the IRS is taking money away from people who received unemployment benefits. <coughs> this stuff, I tell you, if you wanna go like rogue and just say whatever, you get a lot of views. It's tempting, but I refuse to do it. The official consensus is that this is basically false. The post contains a screenshot from the IRS app, IRS to go informing the users that, quote, your refund amount has been reduced by $13,424.40 to pay your past due obligations such as child support, another federal agency debt, or a state income tax, end quote. This post was flagged as part of Facebook's effort to combat fake news, false news, and misleading information in news feeds. Tax experts, yeah, they chimed in and told us basically what we already knew. If unemployment benefits were properly claimed, a taxpayer could, uh, would not have to pay them back, but would be liable for the income tax on the amount they received. So if they receive 10,000, they're gonna pay whatever their income tax is based on that 10,000. I disagree with it completely. It kind of goes against the whole idea of helping people out it's kind of silly give somebody money and then take it away in taxes doesn't seem right but some states gave more money to unemployed recipients than they were eligible for and demand that money back to pay it back even though recipients were not responsible for the air and knew that they they didn't know they were being overpaid uh, so to speak if unemployment benefits were properly claimed a taxpayer would not have to pay them back but would be liable for just the income tax on the amount that they received. That, you know, typically you're gonna get whatever, 15% that you're gonna have to pay of the 10,000. So if it was 10,000, 15, you're gonna pay 15% of that. Let's just say for a round number, you're gonna pay $1,500 for $10,000 worth of income. Pretty simple, right? Well, the government does not require unemployment benefits that have been properly claimed to be paid back. So if you claim it right, you wanna make sure you got a good tax person and it doesn't reduce the amount of tax filers refund that the filer does not, does not have unpaid government debts or child support. So pretty simple that this was completely false. So the post is pretty much false, but there's more unemployment money up for grabs within the states. So if you haven't received a letter from the IRS asking you to pay back your unemployment, you have nothing to worry about. In fact, so many states are actually forgiving the PUA unemployment debt, and so many other states are continuing their state unemployment claims by continuing to pay people. So go file if you need it and have not currently received any unemployment benefits. Make sure you fill out those waivers. 
If you think, if it comes up that they're asking you to pay it back, make sure that you fill out that waiver so that you can um, not have to pay it back. Also, next story. Meanwhile, a social media post used an old video of the White House officially talking about stimulus checks. Kind of like, you know, we can see that it was done a long time ago to make false claims about a new stimulus, right? It'd be like announcing the CARES Act and then just adding a two next to it like it happened again. It didn't. However, the video is from March of 2021, over a year ago, one whole year ago, and the fourth check hasn't yet been announced. If it did, I'd be jumping for joy. And even though there's checks going out everywhere from that $350 billion, so there are plenty of checks that are popping up, the post has hundreds of comments, including questions uh, like one seemingly made up to help drive traffic. I just entered my zip code and got confirmed that my 2,880 is on the way. Thanks, end quote. On a comment, that's from a comment somebody said. Most commenters simply enter their zip code. It's crazy to see that. It's nice to see, though, that people are staying vigilant on top of it and that we can fact check stuff and be able to look back to see. And, and we're becoming an internal information police department, it seems like, where if we see something, we can fact check it and go all the way back. Even the stuff that's happening in Ukraine, same thing, you know, and also Russia, how some of their propaganda has backfired because we found the video from before. Kind of reminds me of scammers, though, in the comments with the WhatsApp. None of those WhatsApp numbers are me. Uh, or random Instagrams from new people or, or Telegram. My information is in the description. My uh, Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram, my email, it's all there. The point is, always stay vigilant and get reliable sources. I always source news on channels, fact check them, cross check them against other news media so that we can say the right thing when it comes and you can trust the information here. And our final story, finally, finally, the, the, uh, I've seen everything. Speaking of scams, a Modesto mom admitted, admitted to teaming up with Death Row's son to rip off stimulus checks. The 51-year-old Modesto woman pleaded guilty Friday to charges connected to a scheme with her son who is incarcerated in San Quentin Death Row to rip off thousands of dollars in federal stimulus payments. The woman, Sheila Dintz um, Dunlap, I, I don't want to mess that up because, you know, somebody, but uh, why, why did he say it was me? Anyway, he could be facing 20 years in federal prison uh, for June 24 sentencing on charges of conspiracy to commit wire fraud and aggressive identity theft. Interesting. Very interesting. Dunlap admitted that she conspired from March 2020 through July 2020 with her son to obtain the personal identification information of others and to use the PII to apply for the EIP funds. That's that $1,400 money. Her son, identified only by the initials DW, sent her the personal information uh, of his fellow prisoners along with their other individuals whom uh, suspected might qualify on non-filers 2018 or 2019 income tax returns. So I guess they all got together and say, hey, this is a way we can all get cigarettes since we're going to be here forever. Let's go ahead and get that $1,400 with cigarettes so that we can barter and trade that. Crazy, right? They used a spreadsheet containing the identifications of, get this, guess how many people were involved? 9,043 individuals. That is insane, right? What? I mean, this is RICO, right? <laughs> like a criminal circuit within the jail cell. This is insane. It's another reminder to stay vigilant, avoid situations where someone could obtain your personal information because it could mean money is taken from you that you have to deal with fighting, whether that's paying taxes on it or, or the uh, unemployment office asking it for you back, just all kinds of things. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Appreciate you. If you need unemployment benefits or PUA, keep fighting for that. Also, if you're unemployed, make sure that you apply for state and local benefits. You could get up to 26, 27 weeks for. Take care. Love you. So yeah. does that give us like a cultural abandonment issue? Oh, for like sure. Like if you, if you had 9 million dads come in 
And then you had nine million dads leave. I'd have daddy mm-hmm. issues. Wouldn't you have daddy issues? <laughs> yeah. I'm I not would. saying you do. I was buying a racetrack for $28 million in Wait, Utah. Wait, was it the Larry H. Miller? Yeah. That literally is five minutes from my house. I've done everything right and failed. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Yeah. I've done everything right and failed. Yeah. It's not your fault. It's just, it, it you really know, is. it's a... So, I do need your autograph here. Will you sign so, one of these for me? Uh, we'll get, we'll get to that. <laughs> That's probably what got you back up on your feet. 